What's good with you? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody out there tuning in again. It's your boy, Clint Cole, and I'm here with some more motivation for you. Let's get into it. Topic of today is clarity in the midst of turbulence. All right, so think about you've been on a plane before, and you flying, you flying, everything cool, and you just sitting back, got your little snacks, you eating them, and drinking on whatever you got to drink on and you start going through clouds and the flight get kind of shaky and while it's shaking you just kind of get a little anxious and like man kind of nervous like i don't know what's going on i don't know what's gonna happen and you just like but but it'll be all right and it starts to get worse and so you feeling every bump just like if you're in a car driving you just like, dang, what, what's going on? What's going on? And you hear the pilot say, oh, I'm sorry, guys. We're going through a little bit of turbulence. Make sure you put your seatbelt on and uh, just sit back in your seat. Put your, uh, put your little shelves up and lock them and make sure everyone's seated. So you may not know what's going on, but in the midst of that, the first thing that the pilot tells you to do is put on your seatbelt for safety. So in the midst of turbulence, trying to get clarity, the first thing you got to do is know what's going on so you can be safe. So you being aware of every situation that's going on. So, you know, turbulence in your life could be, you know, arguments with your significant other. That could be disagreements with your family members. That could be falling outs with your friends. Dur during all of that turbulence, it's just not clear. So how do you gain clarity through that? It does, that's being aware. Being aware of what you're doing each and every day. So if you know that you are having disagreements with your family members, you need to sit down and talk to them like, what's going on, man? Like, why, why are we at this point? We've never been at this point before, so what's going on? If you are having arguments with your significant other, you got to be able to show them love and and, t and and show them where you coming from and understand where they coming from so you're not stressing out about every little thing. You know, because life is already going to be rocky and shaky, so those, those people that's around you, those people that's holding you accountable, you got to be able to be with them regardless of what's going on. You know? And the second thing that the the... The uh, pilot says, when you're going through turbulence, put the uh, put the little tables away, lock them on, so nothing will happen. You may you may bump your head, you may it may fall off and run into you, whatever. But they giving you some secondary precautions, so that you would be even more safe. And those secondary precautions in life could be all the tasks that you're doing right now in life. If you're studying for something, you know, all that turbulence is not taken away from the work that you have to do on a daily basis. So if you in school and you studying for a test, all that stuff that's going on around you, you got to focus on, on what you got in front of you. If you working out at the gym, you can't be worried about what, what other things that aren't in the gym. You got to worry about that weight that you pushing. If you running on the track, you got to worry about what's, what's going on right there in front of you. If you doing football drills on the field, you got to worry about, those drills, if you were, if you, uh, on a basketball court, you got to make sure that you practicing those free throws, those layups, whatever you doing in life, you got to stay focused on that as your secondary, because you could be the reason that your family blow up. You could be the reason to show everybody what you've been saying, what you've been trying to show them. You could be the reason. So you got to bet on yourself. Clarity in the midst of turbulence is hard to, to find, but you can do it. It's, it's, it's not easy to be clear when a lot of things is going on in your life. A lot of things around you is just being shaky. And when those things are being shaky, you just like, man, I kind of want to give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Look for that clarity. You got people that's looking up to you. You got people that's rooting for you. You got people that's got your back. You got people that's going to do little things for you. You got people that's going to do big things for you. So you got to find that clarity in the midst of all that turbulence. Because at the end of those 10, 15 minutes, you're on the plane, you shaking, everything around you just boom, 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 just hitting you. And you feel like you're going through 
hell. Like your life is just throwing haymakers at you and you just feel like you getting beat, you getting kicked while you already down, you just feeling like nothing is going on, but you gotta bet on yourself. You gotta bet on yourself because when you bet on yourself, that clarity starts to come in. You start to align everything that you need to be doing each and every day. And when you start to get that alignment, then you like, cool, man. Cool. I'm, I'm good. I know where I'm going. I know what I need to do. And as you continue to do that, everything that you've been doing adds up, adds up, adds up. And sooner or later, you're going to be like, whoa, man, I remember just a few months ago, I was just tripping over this. I remember a year ago, I was tripping over this. I remember two years ago, I was tripping over this. And now look where I'm at. And it didn't drop like a bomb because I just remained faithful to what I was doing. I stayed true to what I was doing. I stayed dedicated to what I was doing. I stayed motivated to what I was doing. And now I'm here. Now I'm here because I kept doing what I wanted to do each and every day. I stayed clear in the midst of tur turbulence. Clarity started to come in more and more each and every day. But I stayed, I stayed down. So write down on a piece of paper for all that all those that feel like you're struggling, write down on a piece of paper right now. Find a pen or pad or go ahead and just put the notes in your phone and put it on your lock screen so you can see it every day. Stay true and stay committed. Put that on your wall. Put that on your mirror. Put that in your phone, your lock screen, whatever. Stay true and stay committed and keep doing what you're doing every day. All right. So I'm out here. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Peace.